I'm going to turn on the oven. I don't even know what temperature is supposed to be. But I'm going to guess it's going to be 400. <laughs> what the heck for? Well, I'm going to open up the freezer here. Oh yeah, got some steaks. Got some hot dogs. Got some... Oh, you guys don't want to see that one. Got some pizza. And this is what we're doing today. The Chicago's Home Run Inn. Premium pizza, sausage, classic pizza. What makes it classic? Because of Chicago's? Come on. Yeah, gotta move the lodge away. Yeah, all natural, made from scratch. All natural, made from scratch. 450 degrees, so let's cancel that. Big. It's kind of hot, ain't it? Come on. I hate this oven. I'm going to buy me a new oven. Maytag is a good brand, but as you guys know, I love my Samsung products. <clears throat> I'm going to pipe up some gas through the basement. Natural gas, of course. And oh, what the heck? Little lady broke the box. Um. Yeah, so we're going to make this, I don't really give a crap about Chicago, but I will try it, I'll be honest. I'll give it a fair review. This is the Pauly Detmer's Frozen Pizza Review. So I cooked it for 15, or actually about 16 minutes as per instruction, which is the rule on my reviews with all frozen pizzas. So you'll never see me cooking this on or in the pizza oven, the outdoor pizza oven. You always see me cooking it as per instruction for these reviews. Now I'm going to call my, my grading system, I, I renamed it. I know it's five points, a five number scale, but I'm going to rename it and call it the Pauly Dunmerds five pepperoni scale so that last video two pepperonis Chicago Chicago's home run in classic pizza <clears throat> sausage at that I'm gonna have to knock off a half a point just cause I call it Chicago <laughs> I'm telling you, I haven't even tried it. I've never tried this stuff before. But here, let me let me get some footage of my Canon Vixia HFR 700 camera, and uh, show you guys what I'm looking at here. Yeah, there we go. That is that Chicago pizza. Looks kind of like. The coronavirus. <laughs> okay, I'll be fair. I cut me a piece, as you see, as you can see. And now let, let's get it off there and try it. Shut that off. And we'll save that for the archives. <laughs> oh, man. So here we go. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Gonna get that little dripping cheese off the side. Thing's hot. Now my son does not like it when I eat food on camera using this microphone because he can hear every bite I take. But that's the whole purpose of a food review. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Sausage has a nice flavor.
they call this classic <clears throat> cardboard I mean the crust is are they calling this a thin crust made with the dream made from scratch with simple ingredients pizza what the purpose um our grandparents making pizza 1947 When you bite in the crust, it just kind of like cracks off. Yeah. Toppings, pretty good flavor. I mean, It's kind of like <clears throat> biting into a pop tart. Crust is not there. Toppings, not bad. Therefore, on the Polly Demerds pepperoni scale, <laughs> yeah, it tastes like a pop tart. One point three. Anything under two point oh sucks. <laughs> and when you call it Chicago, <clears throat> when you call it Chicago, I don't know. Half point off automatic. <clears throat> but yeah, check me out on Facebook, Polly Detmerds. You can get up-to-date information on future videos. And there's a lot of information on there already right now that you don't, you guys don't even know about it. Know about if you're just watching me on YouTube. I got plenty of more frozen pizza reviews to do. The taste was not bad. But it's like eating pizza stuff on top of a pop tart. Got a new video coming out soon. Groundbreaking video in the Polly Detmer's arsenal of food preparation equipment. Till next time, never trust skinny cook. Here from the glorious state of Michigan, I'm out.